Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is gonna be for the week of the 31st going to the 6th of February. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you guys. I'm just gonna pull a few cards of this deck out. You have three. Nice, let's go for it, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Uh, this is definitely, we had a similar message for, I believe, Pisces for the week, actually. And uh, it does feel like here, Aries, within this week, it's super important that we learn to trust others, that we learn to rely on others a little bit more. Uh, you know, you can do everything by yourself. I know you're strong enough to, but it doesn't always mean that you have to. This is a great week of meeting new people or understanding the lessons behind new people coming into our life here. Um, and for a lot of you, these are people coming in that are offering some kind of help towards you. Okay, there are a lot of people who care for you, Aries. Um, there might be a little bit of stress and anxiety about getting projects done, about getting work done here. Do not be afraid to ask some people for help here, Aries, because I do see that the situation will unfold the way that it needs to, and I do see success as a part of it. Um, but there is a need to kind of steady yourself. There's a need to kind of ease yourself into something and allow yourself to delegate if necessary, okay? The first card we have coming up here, which I love that we've landed on the Six of Pentacles at the same time is because we have community and this is about understanding the people that are coming into our lives they are here to help us they are here to advise us a lot of you could be getting some advice from a really really trustworthy friend or someone that may be passing into your life for a little while you may have known this person for a, roughly six months this person has something to teach you um, this may be a very old soul whoever this is or again it could be someone that you know of Sagittarius energy coming through um, but as you can see there is a, an adult giraffe and we have a baby one. So these people come into your life, although they may be temporary, they do have something to teach you about the life that you're about to live. So these people could be in the same work as you, have gone through similar relationships to you. There is a little bit of insight here, Aries, that you're gaining within this week from, again, uh, someone who seems to be wanting to help you over a situation here. Um, and they are giving you some really, really important advice. And the thing is, I love this because I've never noticed the birds in the background here. And a lot of the time, the birds can represent uh, gossip. It can represent um, just, you know, uh, pe flighty people. There is someone who is interesting. We have a lot of temporary people coming into our life here, Aries. And you might be really wondering why on earth uh, people never stay. Very uh, specific message for somebody out there. What I do see coming through here is that there is one person who's very, very grounded and, and there for you if you need them, which is really interesting because this person could be moving because you can see this. I thought that this would be the temporary one, but in fact, it was everything else around you that seems to be temporary. This person seems to be in it to stay, but they might be moving here because we have hotel uh, just on this little hut that this giraffe is in. So maybe they're going uh, from a distance from you and that might make you feel stuck. Someone that you trust, rely on. Maybe you might be the one that's moving here and someone needs your help. We then have a leg up card. We have a lot of like family coming through, by the way, for you guys as well, like a family support. Now, the leg up card is very similar to what I've been discussing here, Aries, about needing to learn how to rely on other people. Uh, Aries, you are a very independent sign and I love everything that you bring to the table. Your values, your work ethic, uh, how headstrong you are and your ability to make things work and happen and to find solutions really quickly. You know, you definitely are one of a kind, but Aries, one thing I need you to learn within this week is how to to balance that how to understand when it's your turn to do something and when it's someone else's turn to uh, kind of lead okay uh, and within this week we might be needing to allow others to lead because again we have this very similar uh, imagery about like a baby and an adult this could mean some of you are learning a little bit more about you know if you have children deepening a connection with that understanding what this has to teach you um some of you may be newly pregnant and like a little bit worried but again this has a very valuable lesson here others of you this is nothing to do with parent and children this has a lot to do though with someone teaching you something or you teaching someone else something and um I'm going to use it in a sense that you guys are the one that's being taught something here by, again, someone who has more experience in the field. 
of life, let's just say. Um, but I do see that this is taking you somewhere, which is really nice. Someone could be taking you on a trip here. Anyways, we do have the Breathe card as well coming up last, which is again, Piscean energy, I always say. Uh, four, four, four and o'clock, as I said this, this is about building the right foundations within yourself. The Breathe card, of course, is about learning how to breathe. Of course, the importance of breath is super important, but on a wider scale, this is really about grounding yourself and learning how to sit tight with the flow of life. Uh, I do see a lot of rapid changes coming up for you guys within the next six months, Aries. I do see a lot of movement. It could be, again, you moving or something like this here, travel definitely on the cards for you guys if you're wanting that. But there's a lot of changes that are gonna be happening for you that are good, but it's asking for you to stay grounded within this time and energy, okay? A lot of new experiences coming up for you. So Aries, let's see what else is coming in. A lot of you could be changing job roles here, and this could be quite scary, especially if you, again, Aries, if you have gone from a leadership role, you are now learning how to again start fresh start something new start from a different uh, perspective here there is something new that you're going into um i like this i just think I, I get tense energy and i need you to learn how to again that breathe energy to let this go allow other people to help you here you don't need to know everything straight away life is a pure lesson here for you guys um don't be afraid to to kind of Allow other people to guide you, to observe. I do see that this is a very big week of learning. Uh, and with the uh, Page of Pentacles, it's exactly that. You are learning how to develop new skills, how to be around new kinds of people here. Again, the Three of Cups, some of you feel like you've been doing a lot of the work and efforts and you're carrying a lot of burden here and other people are just celebrating here. I do kind of see, okay, this has a lot to do with work. What I do see with this, you are learning how to let things go and kind of join the party here. And also allow other people to... What I can see is that there is a lot of things that you're holding on to and spirit is really trying to push you towards just enjoying the present moment a little bit more. You have a lot of responsibilities on your plate here, Aries, and I can see that. You have a lot of work, a lot of projects, a lot of things to consider and, and, and do. As you can see with the Ten of Wands, you're holding a lot of weight here. But you're tempted to look at this, the Three of Cups. Other, everyone else is happy. Why, <laughs> why is everyone else happy and I'm the one, only one doing all of this stuff? There may be a need for a conversation here. Uh, but for a lot of you, you are learning how to, again, let go of the need to control everything and allow yourself to be free and happy and grateful with the Three of Cups here. Yeah. And with this, you find success. A lot of you are going to find yourself in, again, a community of some kind, going out there, making friends is a really important time for you, especially for a lot of the uh, introverts. Can you be an Aries and be an introvert? <laughs> I'm sure you can. Because uh, with this coming through, you'll find that a lot of people love your energy. A lot of people love your vibes. This, of course, Six of Wands is about success in terms of business, the things that you've been holding on to. A lot of you may actually find yourself stepping up to a leadership position, uh, but it, it isn't about you doing everything by yourself. I think that once you start delegating, this is when you start getting seen, not when you carry everything. I hope you guys are really kind of catching on to what I'm trying to say. There's a, uh, a vibe. There is a vibe. There's an energy here where I can see you kind of holding on to everything thing and maybe hoping that people kind of see that you're doing all this work and holding on to all this stuff and that you get rewarded for that but the truth is what you get rewarded in is when you actually start delegating these these responsibilities to other people and this is when you start being seen because other people love what you bring to the table in terms of career maybe in terms of romance as well because again getting yourself out there um in, in all areas of life is really where I'm seeing a lot of success coming in for you. And again, the six of wands is not only success, it is about being seen. So for those of you who want to be in the spotlight, for those of you who do want to be recognized for the work that you're doing, allowing other people to help you at this time is really where the spotlight starts to shine on you, okay? Because you do bring a lot to the table here. You are a fast learner, but you also like to take your time with things, if that makes any sense. We have the five of pentacles. All right, that's coming up underneath the Ten of Wands, which means here, again, we may feel as though we're doing some things alone, feeling like there isn't any help here. A lot of you guys may feel a little bit addicted to work, a little bit of a workaholic within this week, but the thing is, the Five of Pentacles is kind of saying that you may feel at a loss here because of this, a loss of energy, a loss of time, a loss of, again, maybe even attention in this way. Three of Cups, please. Oh, interesting. All right. I definitely do also see some of you guys are going to be leaving some people behind within this week. Um, 
not everyone's gonna like you Aries and that's one thing you're gonna have to learn in, in your lifetime maybe you've learned it already and that's great if you have because there is a situation coming through here and where not many people are gonna like this role that you seem to be taking on here but it's it's not really their call here is what they're saying to me but the five of swords of course is about making a difficult decision uh, for long-term happiness okay so it does require some sort of difficulty now so that you can celebrate uh i'm hearing next time a lot of you might find that maybe two friends you might be falling out with two friends or leaving other people to deal with their own mess here too instead of helping them a lot of you guys might hear from a virgo or a gemini within this week there is a love offer coming in for you guys someone who wants to make things work with you who wants to see where things go with you cancerian as well could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio um there is communication here about somebody who wants to take uh, this opportunity with you to see where things go this isn't like a solid offer this person is looking for a soulmate here you guys um what i am seeing though is that they don't want to put a label on it aries they kind of just want to see where things are moving they kind of want to keep things in the unexpected and the unknown because they like that um, but they are coming at you with a very balanced opportunity a very balanced offer here let's clarify the eight of wands it had to drop on the floor didn't it let's pick it up quickly let's see what's oh, the high priestess piscean energy you, know, you have a lot of pisces in your reading you might have that in your chart um it's interesting this person has been quite silent about uh what it is that they've been wanting to speak to you about Ugh, let's cross my legs <laughs> um this is sitting comfortably of course they're, they're rushing in though they are rushing in um again could be a pisces this could be someone who's been holding a little bit of silence in here and the magician Again, it could be a Virgo coming through. This person is interested in you. All right, what is Aries' reaction to this? Whoa, not again. Oh my God, this is so difficult. <laughs> Cannot be bothered. The lovers. <laughs> well, here we go. Um, you might have been waiting for this, actually. With the Three of Cups here. Um... They just want to see where things go. They don't want to put a label on it. They just want to get to know you on a different level here, Aries. It's what it seems like. They've been waiting for you to communicate. Or maybe you've been waiting for them to communicate. Either way, there is love here. On both sides, actually. I feel like you'll be open to this. Okay. Anything else for Aries for this week? Anything else? Ten of Pentacles! What a nice way to let uh, leave the reading behind. Uh, we have the Taurus card coming through. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, which I'm sure is also Taurus. This is saying stability is coming into your life. This could be long-term commitment. Uh, this could be long-term commitment and contracts in terms of your goals too. Ultimately, if it is both, which it seems like it, work is improving. I do see in terms of work though and projects, this and, and even friendships as well and community, there is a little bit of difficulty. Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords, I do have to, and even the Five of Pentacles. There need, does need to be some changes here, but ultimately it is leading to success and celebration of some kind. And again, making the right moves, making the right investments. And if this is also clarifying both of these, money will be coming in for you guys as well. It just requires making the right decisions and the right footing is what they're saying. So planting the right seeds. Uh, but we also have you know, new contracts. It could be for some of you the uh, Hierophant is about ascending on some kind of level. So some of you may find bonuses around this week. Some of you guys may be promoted around this week or be getting some sort of, again, recognition from your workplace. And in terms of love, for a lot of you, whether this is a relationship already, uh, whether it's just been a moment of silence or some inner work being done between the both of you, this is a long-term commitment that can definitely uh, come into this as well. As long as you understand your worth, um, this all looks great let's pull you out some guardian angel cards for you aries to see what else is going on for you number one might mean something for you we have harmony so again with the breathe card there will be uh, a happy ending to this week okay really really good for you guys uh this can actually this is about peace in some ways as well um 
So if the week is kind of chaotic, then again, moving forward, it will be a lot better. We have soulmate. So this is a soulmate here. We also have abundance, which clarifies that 10 of pentacles too, which is great. And then lovers. We also have dreams. Pay attention to your dreams here. Uh, whether that means dreams and goals or whether that means actual dreams in your sleep, this is all a really good sign that um, things are starting to come. I'm hearing full circle in a good way, okay? Things are coming back around again. The good is coming, which is good. We have engagement ring. We have passion from this person. We have a girl with a snake here, which says empath, narcissist, uh, paradigm, which may mean that maybe in the past you have had to enable ba uh, boundaries here. We have karmic relationship, engagement ring, and separation. So this feels like this situation is possibly someone that you know. Someone may be coming through with, again, an, uh, an offer of commitment to see where things go with you. We had that before. And it is coming from a mo moment of separation. You had to place some boundaries. Both of you may have had to do this because there were some lessons involved with a karmic uh, relationship, okay? And it just needed some time. All right, Aries, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I hope you have an amazing week ahead. All right, I love you, and I'll see you guys next week.